think I did. I, I feel like I started to settle in and make some pitches and got some got some early outs, some some ground ball outs as well. Um, so I feel like I was kind of. I don't really think settling in might be the right word, but um, started to get some quicker outs. Did you just feel like you had a trouble early on getting your fastball into right-handed batters? I don't. I think Trey Mancini's having a heck of a year to start this year, and I think he's gotten a lot better. I think he just got to a ball. I think I threw where I wanted, and I think I got to tip my cap. Um, the Nunez ball I'd like back, of course. That one was over the plate. Um, you know, but you can give up runs and make your pitches at the same time. Um, doesn't really make anybody feel any better, but because um, results are what matter. But um, you know, they hit a couple good pitches today. When Aaron Boone came out in that sixth inning after you had thrown just 64 pitches, what was that conversation like? <laughs> I just want to make sure he remembered we had a doubleheader today, but um, <laughs> he did, and he's got his reasons. And of course, you know, the four guys that came in were about as nasty as I've seen all year. I mean, they were disgusting, but. At the same time, I still would have rather stayed in there. That's just kind of the way it goes. Um, you know what? And I worked today, and um, hopefully we get the second one. James in the back, right. Is, is that just one of the tougher parts of like kind of modern baseball to deal with? That you know maybe too often you don't get to go the third time through the order, no matter how you feel sometimes. Yeah, I'm still trying to deal with it. I don't know. I think again, those guys that came in were lights out, and and that's awesome. I just think. Uh, you're sort of you're sort of taught and built to want to stay in there and especially on a day like today but but again i think we can probably handle it and you know we'll find out um but it was good to get that first that first game for sure who else <clears throat> kenny chad you know was warming up in the bullpen even before you went back out there for the six did you have a sense that your time was running out or that that was aaron's plan no uh i I tried to put that out of my head. I felt like the pitch count was low. And <clears throat> once again, it sounds whatever, but I'm pitching until they come and take the ball. So I, I didn't, I don't think I noticed that. Um, you know, you turn and see when, when you see Booney come out, see what's going on. But, um, you know, there's a chance he could, we could talk about it too. But, uh, you know, not today. Would you rather have a manager tell you, all right, get this guy and then that's going to be it? Or would you, would you rather just go out there with blinders on and, and pitch? Uh, I don't think I know the answer to that. I think in that situation, every situation is different, but my pitch count was so low. I think in my mind it was like we're for sure getting through this, you know, trying to get through the sixth and, you know, ideally more than that if that sixth was clean um, especially. But, you know, it worked again and we got that game one win. Anybody else?